give up something to get something. You must fail a hundred times to succeed once. You only learn. The question is, are you happy? And if you're not happy, what's holding you back? What, what, what do you think that's the source of your lack of happiness? What is it that you think, if we're to change, it will make things different for you, that you would be happy? Most of us in life are so afraid something's going to happen that we can't control, and therefore we're going to get pain, that we try to avoid those things we can't control. We try to shape our lives, where we spend our time, who we spend our time with, what we do, by environments that we feel really comfortable in, where we feel like we're really in control in them. But what that does is it limits the shape and quality of our lives. You know, so many times we set goals or we have dreams or we have plans and we work our tail off and it doesn't come out the way we want. And a lot of people come out of those situations disillusioned or angry or resentful or frustrated. They look for someone to blame. You to fail at stuff. It's the most powerful tool you can use, but it all depends on how you use it. It's that drive inside of you. It's the fuel that burns you like something that's never burned inside you before. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. I'm telling you right now, if you are going to birth your dream, your calling, your passion, you can't draw back when life gets tough. You've got to stand up to it and push. To every person in this room who's had a struggle, who's had some pains, who's had some tests, let me tell you some of the stuff you've been through, don't pay it any attention. It is just a sign that the baby is coming. You're on the verge of birthing. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, there's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. There's something in you that needs to be fed, that needs to be stirred, that needs to be electrified, that needs to be illuminated. There's something down inside of you. in a world where suddenly something can happen it could take away your whole business or you know a storm could come and take away your home or or some calamity could happen to your personal family or a disease could hit or or someone could die how do you deal with all that and the answer is you have to know the one thing you can control is not events what you control is what things mean to you how much time you really waste for real how much of our brains are we really going to use? So I don't care if you're a, you're a star athlete, I don't care if you're a billionaire, I don't care if you're a CEO of one of the most important companies, I don't care if you're an entertainer, like I don't care who you are. We all have problems. Stop letting the problems consume you. Problems are a part of life. There are two types of people in the world, I'll tell you exactly who they are. You have people on one side who have reasons. They'll tell you all the fucking reasons why they can't become successful, why they can't get what they want in life. The question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? I want you to focus on your dreams. Nobody ain't got to convince me of what I do. I want you to focus on your goals. I do what I do because I do what I do. I want you to focus on your solutions. Because I'm built from something, and man didn't create it. I want you to focus on that dream life that you have. If you put as much time into working on winning as you put into thinking about losing, you already be a champion. It's an awesome feeling when you truly believe that you're going to be successful. Regardless of the situation, because you put in all the time, all the effort, all the hard work, and you know that it's going to pay off.